Introducing, How to Get Your Guy. The surefire guide to winning the heart of the perfect man of your heart's desire. It's a book that gives a good insight on how you find love for the rest of your life. It looks at various aspects involved in finding the man of your dreams and ensuring that he commits to you for life. Also, you will learn about whether or not you are ready to find the perfect man. Some women think that they are ready for love but in actual sense they aren't. This makes them rush into meeting someone and establishing a relationship that in most cases won't work. You have to ensure that you are emotionally ready to create room for love in your heart. You will also get some very good guidance on how you can win the heart of the perfect man. We will look at some of things that make men fall in love. We will also get to learn why some women get to find the love of their lives while others keep making on relationship mistake after the other. Have you ever wondered what introducing, how to get your guy? The surefire guide to winning the heart of the perfect man of your heart's desire. It's a book that gives a good insight on how you find love for the rest of your life. It looks at various aspects involved in finding the man of your dreams and ensuring that he commits to you for life. Also, you will learn about whether or not you are ready to find the perfect man. Some women think that they are ready for love but in actual sense they aren't. This makes them rush into meeting someone and establishing a relationship that in most cases won't work. You have to ensure that you are emotionally ready to create room for love in your heart. You will also get some very good guidance on how you can win the heart of the perfect man. We will look at some of things that make men fall in love. We will also get to learn why some women get to find the love of their lives while others keep making on relationship mistake after the other, draws a man to a specific woman. We will get to learn the qualities of a woman that attract a man. We will also get to find out which physical attributes men find attractive. Many women think that in terms of physical attributes that men look at things like big boobs. However, you will find out that this isn't the case. Men who want to settle down with a woman look at other things beyond the sexual attraction. There are so many times that women end up wasting a lot of time on the wrong man. However, this time could be spent finding the perfect man and winning his heart. In here we will get to learn the signs that show that a man is really interested in you. We will also get to learn how to tell if a man just wants to sleep with you or he has genuine feelings for you. With all these tips on how to find love, we are probably wondering where you can meet a man in the first place. You get to know some of the identified hotspots for meeting guys. You can meet the right man right in your home or you may have to step outside for a cup of coffee in order to meet one. Mr. Perfect may just be in your area and know you can learn exactly where he may be. If you have found the right man of your heart's desires, you need to ensure that he sticks around and doesn't run away from you. We get an insight into the mind of a man. You will learn about some of the key things that would make a man want to commit to you. Remember, just because he fits your idea of Mr. Perfect doesn't guarantee that you fit his idea of Miss Perfect. You have to play your cards well if we want him to stay with you. Many women are lucky enough to meet the man of their heart's desires without having to do much. Unfortunately, they end up losing him just as easily. In this book, we get to learn some of the things that may make us lose our perfect man. Some of them may seem simple but they do have devastating negative impacts on our relationship. Now that we have found him, we have to ensure that we keep him around forever. This book is writing in simple English grammar that can be understood by everyone. It reflects real life experiences that anyone can relate to. By the time, you put this book down, you will have all the necessary tips to help you find the perfect man of your heart's desires and win his heart forever. How to get your guy chapter 1, synopsis. Before embarking on the strategies that can help you win the heart of the perfect man, it's important that we consider whether or not, you are ready for this. In this chapter, we look at some of the factors to consider before you start looking for Mr. Right. Are you ready to meet the perfect man? Are you ready to date again after your breakup? Why are you looking for the perfect man right now? Sometimes women think that they are ready for love but in actual sense they aren't. This is something even a man can tell. Before you start trying to win him over, first ensure that you are ready for this. You should be in the right place especially emotionally and psychologically are you happy with how your life is right now? Many women make the mistake of assuming that finding the perfect man is what will make them happy. If you're waiting for a man to complete you, then you aren't ready to find the right man. You need to get your life together first. 
Ensure that you are living the kind of life that you want. You should have dreams that don't all involve a man. Mr. Perfect will not be responsible for fixing your life and giving you a reason to wake up every day. Such a woman will have problems meeting the right kind of man and keeping him around. A man who sees this kind of desperation will either run away or even take advantage of you. If you are sad and depressed and just waiting for a man to make you happy, then you may not be ready to meet the man of your heart's desires. Have you gotten over your last relationship? You can't find the right man if at all you are still holding on to the past. If you're still crying about your breakup and are looking for a new guy to fill the void then you aren't ready yet. You may actually chase away a good guy at this point. If you meet a nice man and you keep talking about your ex or comparing him to the ex, this can push him away. Don't carry the anger, bitterness of your last relationship with you. Just because your man cheated on you doesn't mean that all men will. If you still have these negative feelings you may not be ready to meet a new man. You may even project this feeling onto the new guy. Please don't ever cheat on me, if you do I'll find out. This isn't something you should be saying to someone who you are hoping to have a relationship with. If you're still hurting over your last relationship, give yourself a little time to heal before you start looking for the perfect man. Do you know what you want? If you don't know what you want, then you will end up falling for any guy. This makes it very easy for you to make the wrong choices. You should have a clear idea about what you want in a man. This doesn't mean that you have a checklist. It just means that you have to figure out what you want. Find out what you want from the man. This will give you a great insight on what to look for when you meet a guy. How do you feel about yourself? Some women will only believe that they are beautiful if a man tells them so. If you're in such a place in your life, then you aren't ready for your man yet. You have to work on building your self-esteem and making yourself a much better as an individual. If you aren't happy just being you, how do you expect to be happy as a part of a couple? Insecurity isn't a trait that men want to see in a woman that they love. You have to be confident in yourself and avoid being insecure and too unsure about yourself. Don't expect a man to make you feel better about yourself. This may bring you disappointments, especially if he doesn't fulfill your emotional needs. Chapter 2. How to win the heart of your perfect man. Synopsis. In this chapter, you will get some guidance on how to win the heart of your Mr. Right. You can have the man of your dreams if you follow these simple tips. How can you attract the perfect man? How can you get him to fall in love with you? What can you do to ensure that he doesn't slip through your fingers? You can find the perfect man and ensure that you stay with you for the rest of your life. Love is a beautiful thing that makes life gain meaning. Don't miss out on a chance to find true happiness with your soul mate. How to remain independent. Sometimes when a woman meets her dream man, she somehow ends up losing all her senses. Her life and happiness start to revolve around the guy. He is always on her mind and she can't wait to talk to him or see him. This can result in her making constant phone calls or sending him texts or emails. She may also try and see him every chance that she gets. It's okay to be head over heels over someone. However, be very careful not to lose them by trying to too hard to be with a man. Try and remain independent. Concentrate on other things apart from him. Keep in touch with your friends and go to work or school as usual. You have to ensure that you have a life separate from him. If you keep trying too hard to be part of his daily plans, you may scare him away fast. Just because you have met a new man, doesn't mean that you give up on your own individuality such as hanging out with your girlfriends. Keep some mystery in the relationship. You shouldn't reveal everything about yourself when you meet a new man. Keep some things to yourself in order to remain intriguing. You should also avoid divulging some sensitive information in the initial stages of dating. Telling him about an eating disorder that you used to have is a bit too much information for someone you are just starting to date. You don't have to lie. You just have to know how much information is okay. And how much is too much. You can tell him all your secrets later on when you have dated him for a lengthy period of time. Don't rush for sex. No matter how attracted you are to him, jumping into bed too quick is never a good move. It will give him a bad impression of you. It may also change the tone of your relationship. Instead of a commitment, he will be in it just for the sake of having a good time. Try and get to know him better without sleeping with him. Build the relationship and work on your emotional intimacy before the physical. 
aspect of the relationship is introduced. Don't jump into bed with a man too fast before you get to know them. This will cause you some serious regrets. Don't tease him. Just because you don't want to sleep with him yet doesn't mean that you can tease him or toy around with his emotions. Avoid dressing in a manner that is too provocative or too sexy. Don't come onto him making sexual overtures and then turn him down. Avoid heavy makeout sections and then bailing out the last minute. All this will make him focus on sleeping with you and once he succeeds with that, he will walk away. Don't play such games with a man that you are genuinely interested in. Don't tease him and play around with his emotions. Avoid showing desperation. You may have been desperately looking for a man when he came along. Maybe you have had bad luck in past relationships or have always had problems finding a good guy. However, whatever your situation, you can't show signs of desperations. Telling a man just how long you have been single and searching isn't a good tactic. You should also avoid showing him that you need him so much. No matter how difficult things may be in your life, you can't show him that you need to be saved. His money and looks shouldn't be your main area of interest. No man likes to feel like they are being used in any way. Show him that you value him. It may be hard to adjust your life to let in a new man especially if you have been single for a lengthy period of time. You may find it hard to be able to change your daily schedule to leave room for your new man. Maybe you were used to being with your friends and spending the rest of the time at work. However, once you meet a new man, you have to adjust things and make room for him. Avoid things such as using your phone too much when you are with him even if they are important work calls. Try showing him that you value him. Without being overbearing, you don't have to give him your attention. Throughout the day, you just have to do simple things that show that you care. For instance, text back when he texts you no matter how busy you are. Pay attention to your looks. Many times a woman will only pay attention to her looks when she is trying to catch the attention of a man. She will wear nice clothes, put on some makeup and get her hair done. However, once he starts showing some interest, a woman gets so comfortable that she starts to let herself go. She starts wearing clothes that aren't flattering and makeup becomes something that is worn only once in a while. This isn't good. If you are trying to attract a man and keep him around, you have to take care of yourself so as to keep him interested. Ensure that you look good even when you are hanging out with him indoors. You can relax on your looks once you are married or have been dating for a year or so. Keep looking fabulous and you will have him attracted to you long enough to have him falling in love with you. Be open. You don't have to reveal all your secrets to him in an attempt at openness. You just have to give him your opinion and share with him without being cocky or too revealing. Men are attracted to women who have their own minds and can speak up for themselves. If you don't agree with something, don't be rude or argumentative, just clearly express your disagreement. No. Man will be attracted to a doormat. So don't be one. Don't lie to him. This can ruin any relationship. If he asks you something that you aren't ready to talk about, just tell him this without lying. However, it is something very important then you better tell him the truth. If you have a child with another man, don't hide this. You should be upfront with him. Some men are okay with dating single moms while others aren't so avoid withholding such information. Be yourself. Don't try to get a man to fall in love with you by trying to be some else. For instance, if you don't like sports, you don't have to lie about being the biggest baseball fan just because the man is into baseball. You should also avoid trying to be the woman who you think he might be attracted to. He may be attracted to Kim Kardashian but this doesn't mean that's who he wants you to be. So be you and let Kim be Kim. Don't change your dressing or personality just to get someone to fall in love with you. Be confident. A man will be drawn to a woman who is confident and has her life together. You can't get confidence from a man. You have to confident with yourself. Trust yourself. Self-doubt shows in your personality and this can be unattractive to man. Although a man is supposed to do the chasing, this doesn't mean that you sit down passively and let him do everything. You have to make a few moves. Sometimes come up with a plan and see if he likes it. Doubting whether or not he will ever want to do what you want is not going to get you anywhere. Remember, confidence is sexy. Let him be the man. This may sound strange but actually it happens a lot especially with 
independent women. They are so used to being on their own and relying on their own survival tactics. You have to learn to let him be the man and stop questioning his ability to do things. If he offers to help you fix something, let him do it. Suggesting that you can do it yourself or maybe call a professional will just push him away. Allow him to help you out with manly tasks such as changing the car's tire work on your people skills. You don't have to work on your people skills only when you are working. This is actually important even when you are dating. Don't take for granted simple things that you may assume to be obvious. For instance, there are women who like to talk a lot. This may have them interrupting a guy all the time. If he is telling you something avoid things like, that reminds me of interruptions. Stop cutting in and just listen. Learn what appropriate and what's not. Don't just ask someone if they are Republicans or Democrats right off the bat. Also avoid making him feel self-conscious. Listen, talk and laugh. You can easily bore a man if you don't talk at all. Learn how to hold small talks. If you are on a date, keeping quiet and just staring down will easily get his mind elsewhere. If he tells you a joke, laugh even if it's not funny. But don't give a fake laugh that is too obvious. He may think that you are making fun of him. Above all, learn to listen to him. If a man is talking to you and you look distracted, this may get him to shut up. Men like confiding in a woman who can listen to them. Give them your undivided attention and this will make them confide in you even more. Pay attention and listen to him when he is talking to you. Don't try to buy his affection. Many people assume that only men try to buy love without knowing that there are women who also try out this approach. Trying to buy him gifts or give him money will not work. It doesn't matter whether or not you have money and he doesn't. A man who falls for this tactics is only trying to use you. He will not fall in love with you though such means. A man who is courting you will be doing these things for you. He will pay for dates, get you flowers and also small gifts. However, you don't have to return the favor and buy him a car. Bottom line is, it doesn't matter what you have and what you can do for him, and you just can use material things to buy his affection. Chapter 3. What do men look for in a woman? Synopsis. Do you ever wonder what other women have that seems to attract the best men? In this chapter we look at the answer to this question. Do you have the right qualities to attract the perfect man? Do you have what it takes to keep the man your my life after the initial attraction? What does the perfect man look for in the ideal woman? Sometimes you may try out different strategies of getting your dream man. But you don't seem to succeed. This may be due to some of your traits. You have to ensure that you have the right qualities that a good man looks for in a woman. What do they want? Feminine. Men are attracted to the feminine qualities of a woman. It's okay to roll up your sleeves and be one of the boys when at work but when you're with your man, you should show your feminine side. Some of the desirable attributes include being caring, compassionate, tender and gentle and understanding. They say, opposites attract and this is why men are attracted to feminine qualities since they themselves possess the masculine qualities. In line with being feminine avoid being sexually aggressive especially if you have just met a guy. Making suggestive statements with sexual intonations on your first date is just going to scare the man. If you want to flirt with him keep it subtle. Place your hand lightly on his knee or forearm for brief minute. Rushing things will make you look slutty and give the wrong impression about you. Have your own life. Unfortunately, there are women who spend their lives waiting for a man to define their existence. This is a woman who just wants to marry well and has set a plan on how to be a perfect wife. She has no other interests in life apart from her man. This isn't an attractive quality at all. Men like women who have their lives and sense individuality. You should have your own friends and your interests. Friends and your interests. Nobody likes to be followed around by a woman. Because she only wants to do what he wants to do. Take things slow. If you want to lose the perfect man within days of meeting him, try to rush him. You should start talking about move-in together, having kids or getting married. This kind of pressure is simply scary for most men. Nobody likes to feel like they have no control over their future and this is how you will make him feel if you try to rush him. You should also avoid making too much contact. Don't keep calling, texting a guy who you have just met. Let him make the first moves then follow these. If he texts, then text him back. You can start the communication too but ensure that you keep it light. Don't be overbearing. Softness. 
Men are generally attracted to a woman who is soft-heartened. No man wants to be stuck in a relationship with a woman who is cold-hearted or seemingly emotionless. A woman who exudes warmth and acceptance is likely to attract men. Sense of humor you have probably had about this when a woman likes a man she will laugh at his jokes even when they aren't funny. A good sense of humor is nice. If you're watching something funny together, being stone-faced is just boring. Learn to laugh and have a good time. You have to let loose and let go of your inhibitions. Strong women. This doesn't mean physical strength but rather strength in character. A woman who has a strong good personality is likely to attract men. Men. Don't like women who don't seem to have a mind of their own. They also don't like women who don't seem to have any personality at all. You can't just be there in such a way that your presence isn't felt. A strong character is interesting. You should also be able to stand up for yourself. If a man treats you badly, then don't just let him off the hook. If he is late for a date, you don't have to throw a tantrum but don't take it lightly especially if he didn't have a good reason. Modesty Most people assume that the beautiful woman with the sex appeal is the one that attracts men. This is especially if she is an eye candy and dresses in ways that keep men ogling. However, this initial physical reaction is usually temporary. In addition, it is more likely to bring about lust and not love. Men want a modest woman to settle down with. To attract the right kind of men, you have to be modest. This should be clear in your dressing and the way you carry yourself. It should also be in your speech. This means that you do have to stop cussing if at all you normally do that. Dress and act the way you would if you were to meet your mother-in-law today. Wear something modest as opposed to something sexy and revealing. Confidence. This is one of the sexiest attributes that any woman can have. All men are drawn to confident women. This doesn't mean that you should be challenging, argumentative, combative, it just means that you have to believe in yourself. High self-esteem shows through character and so does low self-esteem. However don't be overconfident or try to put the man down. Reminding him that you have a better job, house, and car or are more educated isn't good. You shouldn't flaunt your successes in a way to put your man down. Your confidence should empower them make them more comfortable around you. They may even proud of you. However, if you shove it down the throat, this will push them away. Confidence is an important attribute in every woman. A challenge. It's been proved that men like a good challenge. This is just something that appeals to their masculinity. Don't just make things very easy for him by being too available. It's also not advisable to make the first move or do the pursuing. Many feminists will tell you that it's okay to do that but it's not. You have to be the pursued and put up a challenge without necessarily playing hard to get. A good challenge is also a way to make things interesting. Let him court you instead of just presenting yourself to him on a silver platter. Don't be an easy lay. No matter what magazines or movies show you, sleeping with a guy on the first date or even the initial month of meeting him isn't a nice move. No man wants an easy woman. This will even make the man question your morals. Take time before jumping into bed with him. It doesn't matter whether he tries to instigate it or not. Physical attributes. Smile. There are a number of physical attributes that men look for in women. One of them is the smile. If you are the kind of a woman who likes to stay gloomy and serious all the time, you have to lighten up. Smile more often. A smile will also soften your facial features and make you look more attractive than a frown which hardens the features. Men like women who smile. A frown will scare a potentially nice guy away. Voice. Another attribute that men pay attention to is the voice. Some are attracted to a soft voice. Others like a huskier one. However, a screamer isn't an attractive quality. If you have a naturally high-pitched voice, learn how to control this. You can't talk to a man as if you are shouting. This even kills the romantic mood. Lips. Men also pay attention to a woman's lips. Statistics show that most men are attracted to fuller lips. However, whether you have fuller or thinner lips you have to take care of them. Don't let them get dry or cracked up. Use lip gloss or lipstick to make them look good. Eyes. Men are naturally attracted to a woman's eyes. This is why if you want to flirt, learn how to use your eyes well. Holding someone's gaze then slowly lowering your gaze or even batting the eyelids is flirty. Don't hide your eyes being sunglasses even if they are designers. You can look into his eyes without staring him down. Use your eyes to flirt. 
The hair. The hair plays an important role in the woman's overall beauty. In most cases, men are attracted to women with long hair as opposed to a boy cut. Chapter 4. How to know if he is interested in you. Synopsis. In this chapter, you will learn how to read the signals that men give. This will help you know whether a guy is interested in you or they are just wasting your time. Does he feel the same that you do? Does he even notice you? Does he really like you or is he just interested in sex? There are so many times that women end up losing a lot of time on the wrong guy. This time wasted could have been invested in finding the right man. In addition, your focus on the wrong guy may prevent you from seeing the right guy who may have been right in front of you all along. Signs that he is interested in you. Posture. The way a man sits next to you can tell you a lot. If he leans towards you or is seated with facing you then he is interested in you. A man who keeps his body faced away from you isn't interested in you. Crossing one leg over the other also isn't a good sign. This shows he is closing you out, if he crosses his arms around his chest that's also a bad sign. Posture tells a lot and yes to want him to lean in close and not do the opposite of that. A man will also use any excuse to touch you. They will brush hair from your face, lightly touch your hand, knee or arm. The touches are all good. Signs that he is interested in you. The eyes. The eyes tell a lot. If a man looks at you in the eyes, then he is interested. You should take up on this and smile as you look at him. This shows that you are interested too. However, if you are talking to a man who is looking around you and not at you, this isn't a good sign. If he is looking at your chest instead of your face, then this is definitely the wrong man. A man who looks into your eyes as he talks to you eno interested in you. How he looks at you can also tell you if he is a good listener or not. A guy who is interested in you will listen keenly when you talk. They will show an interested in getting to know you better. If he is just talking about himself then he is not interested in you. He will also keep laughing or smile when you talk to him even if you aren't. The funniest person in the world. You keep bumping into him. When you suddenly start bumping into a guy so many times, you should think about this. It could be that these accidental meetings aren't so accidental after all. The man may be hanging around your favorite places just to see you. You have to make the most out of these little meetings. Talk to him a little bit. A guy who likes you may start changing his schedule so as to keep bumping into you. He shows an interest in things that you like. A guy who likes you will show interested in things that you like. For instance, if he likes watching sports and you don't, he may try and watch something else that you like instead of trying to get you to watch the game. He will also get interested in things that make you happy even if he isn't into them. For instance, if you are a poet, a guy who likes you will ask you about this. They may also show ask to read some of your work. However, if he says, I don't like the whole poetry thing, I prefer, that isn't a good sign. Signs that he isn't interested. He doesn't contact you. If a man likes you, he will want to see or at least talk to you. If he has your number and he has never even called you then this is a sign that he isn't into you. It doesn't matter whether he is shy or not. If he has your number and yet he never calls to ask you out, then he isn't interested in you. Drunk and dialing. A man, who only calls you late at night when he is drunk, isn't interested in you. As a matter of fact, he doesn't even respect you at all. It doesn't matter if he calls and sings and even says that he loves you. You should never justify that he didn't have the guts to call you when he was sober because he is shy or busy. If he only calls you late at night especially when he is drunk, then he isn't into you. He doesn't listen or talk much when he is with you. A man who doesn't seem to pay attention to you when you're together isn't interested in you. For instance, if he seems more interested in checking out the waitress than in listening to you then leave him alone. Also whether he is a talker or not, if he is too quiet when you are together this isn't a good sign. He could be shutting you out and showing no interest in letting you get to know him. A man who is interested in you will engage you in conversation and pay attention when you talk. In addition, if he seems distracted when he is with you then this is a bad sign. You may notice that he keeps texting or making calls when you're trying to have a conversation with him. Shows interest in other women. A man who openly or secretly flirts with other women isn't interested in you. This is even disrespectful. If you catch him smiling at other women in a manner that you seems flirty then leave him alone.
If he is constantly talking about other women then this is also a bad sign. Why would he be telling you about the hot new intern at his office? This isn't someone who likes you at all. If a man is constantly flirting with other women or checking them out even when you are together, then he isn't interested in you. Friend zone. When a man who is interested in you he will push you to the friend zone. He may even start referring to you as sis or buddy. This clearly defines the type of relationship that he wants from you. He may even start introducing you to other people as my friend. This is bad especially if you have made some good progress in your relationship to signify that the next step is officially dating. You may also be put in the friend zone without even being told anything. The man will start treating you as just one of his friends. If you make plans to meet, he may bring someone else with him. The plans will also not be romantic and may just a regular hangout between friends. If he starts involving other people in your plans and introducing you as his friend, he may not be interested in anything more than friendship. Signs that he is just interested in sex. Most women tend to confuse intimacy with love. They assume that a guy who is sleeping with them must have feelings for them. It is also general assumption that sex is a part of a relationship. However, you may not be in a relationship with the man you are sleeping with. You may think this is love but to him, it's just a good time. What does he talk to you about? A man, who is interested in just sex will most likely constantly talk about this. When you try to tell him about your new job, he may show interested in other things such as the two of you celebrating this. He may also not show interested in talking about the future with you. He may seem overly seductive all the time even when you are interested in having a serious discussion with him. You may also find out that he is pushy about physical intimacy. He may keep trying to get intimate with you even when you aren't in the mood. If you turn him down, he will keep pushing or he may seem angry and just walk away or end the conversation. What do you do when you are together? There are people who claim to be dating but have never even been on a single date. If a man juts wants to come over to your house or have you over to his house then this isn't a good man. You should have a relationship outside the bedroom. You should be seen in public together and not just spend all your time behind closed doors. A man who is genuinely interested in you will want to do other things with you apart from just having sex. In addition, such a man is most likely to leave immediately after sex. They may not even stay around for breakfast. This is the kind of guy who slips away very early and at times before you even wake up. Chapter 5. Where and how can you meet the man of your dreams? Synopsis. If you are looking for Mr. Right, this chapter can give you some tips on where to find him. Which is the best place to meet the perfect man? How do I meet the right guy? Many books will tell you how to meet the right man however, one very important issue is normally overlooked in these books. You also need to know where to meet this man. Logically speaking, you can't attract a man that you haven't yet met. Some tips. Mutual friends. Many couples have met through mutual friends. It's very okay to ask your friends to set you up with someone. You may find the perfect man has always been close by. Let your friend know what you are looking for so that they may introduce you to the right guys. Alternatively, just hanging out with your friends can help you meet some nice men. Your friend doesn't even have to do any introductions or set you up on blind dates. However, once you find a guy that you like, you can try and get some information about him from your friend. The gym. Your local gym could be exactly where your dream man is hanging out. Statistics show that many women meet nice men in the weights section of the gym. Think about starting to work out. You have everything to gain and nothing to lose. Besides, you also get to get in shape as you look around for your man. The gym is a great place to meet guys. Games, baseball, basketball. Men like sports. You will find them watching baseball, basketball, football, and many other games. You can meet a good guy at one of these games. You can go to a sports bar or a stadium where there is a game. This especially works in your into sports. It gives you something to talk about. Get one of your friends to accompany you so that you don't feel awkward. Weddings. Your friend's weeding can be the perfect place for you to meet a nice guy. In addition, the environment is normally well suited for romance. Take some time to mingle at the wedding reception or the evening party. However, you have to be careful. There are men who prey on women at weddings under the assumptions that many women are normally desperate. At this time, 
these aren't good men. So you should be careful not to rush things before you know anyone better. You can meet the perfect man at weddings. Dating sites there is a lot of negativity surrounding online dating. This is because of the lies that occur in this kind of meetings. Many people take advantage and pretend to be someone who they aren't. However, some of these chats actually lead to something more serious. There are so many people who make the soulmates online and have managed to build good meaningful relationships. One thing that is very important when it comes to online dating is being cautious. Don't just reveal all your personal information to strangers. You should also avoid meeting people before you get to know them better. Keep an open mind and realize that not everyone may be who they say they are. However, being open-minded and cautious shouldn't keep you from making the right decisions and meeting the right person. Vacations. This is one of the best places to meet nice guys. Taking a break from work and going away can be the first step that you make towards meeting your man. If you feel like your current schedule can't allow you to meet guys, take a break from it and go away for a while. Music clubs watching bands. You can meet a nice guy while watching a band. This isn't a regular club scene but more of a nice atmosphere with your favorite band playing some good music. This is a great way to connect with someone who you have common interests with. A gadget stores, comics, science fiction conventions. This is another great place to meet guys. Most guys who hang out at these places are smart guy who can make very good partners. Not all geeks are dorks by the way, you may be surprised to find a very hot guy in these places. Next time you want to go and buy an iPod, take some time and look around you. Church If you are a Christian, you can meet a very nice guy in church. Although not all men in churches are good, most of them are. Getting involved in activities such as ministries or clubs can be helpful. You can also volunteer in activities such as feeding the homeless. This will give you a chance to meet a guy with a good giving heart. Restaurants Coffee Places Coffee houses are also a great place to link with someone nice. Most coffee houses are also a great place to link with someone nice. Next time you are on a break, go to a nice place with a book or your laptop and have your coffee. You don't even need to go with someone else. You actually have better luck if you go alone since this will make you more approachable. Your local coffee joint could be the place where you will meet your perfect man. Business conferences If your work allows you to travel on business, you can use this opportunity to meet the right guys. They don't have to be your colleagues or even the people at the conference. You can meet a guy even at the lobby of the hotel you are staying at. After your meetings, you should take time to mingle and visit one of the local places. If you don't have time, then have your meals or a drink in the hotel's common areas instead of your room. Throw a party at home. Your perfect guy could just walk through your door. Think about hosting a party at your home. Then invite your friends and let them bring their friends. This doesn't have to be an expensive party. Most house parties allow visitors to bring their own drinks. You can ask your friends to each bring some wine or food whichever they like. However, make sure that you don't end up making any rush decisions. Watch the amount of alcohol that you consume. You should also avoid sleeping around or doing anything that may give people the wrong impression of you. Ensure that you mingle with people other than just your friends. This is how you will get to meet someone new. Holding a simple party at your house could enable you to meet a nice guy. Chapter 6. What would make a man want to commit to you? Synopsis. In this chapter, we look at some of the reasons why a man would want to commit. This will give you an insight into how men think and reason when it comes to commitment. You can use these tips to get your perfect man commit to you. Why do some women get commitments from men while others don't? What can you do to get your perfect man to commit to your forever? As a woman, it is possible to get a man to commit to you. At the same time, you may be doing things that push a man away. Commitment. If he is sure that he won't lose his independence. Men don't like the idea of losing their independence. They still want to be able to have their own Lois even after they get married. Independence doesn't imply that he is free to date other people though. It simply means that he will get to enjoy his life and not live it like someone serving a time in jail. He will want to be able to still hang out with his friends. He would like to be able to do his own things like watch a game without his wife hovering around him. When you are dating him, you need to prove to him that he will have his independent even when you are married. 
Let him have his space when you're dating. Don't nag him or follow him around. Don't be too possessive and try to spend every second of the day with him. In addition, encourage him to pursue his dreams. In the meantime, you should also have your life. Do your own things and hang out with your friends from time to time. You can get a man to propose to you if you can prove to him that you will let him live his own life and not try to run his life just because you are married. Honesty men want to commit to women who are honest. There is nothing that men abhor more than a woman who is dishonest. You have to ensure that you don't hide things from him. For instance, if you used to be married before, don't let him find out after you're married. You should also never use deceit to try and get him to commit. For instance, getting pregnant in order to get a commitment is just a stupid move that can cause some resentment from your man. If you try to deceive a man to commit to you, you may end up alone and miserable. You should also never lie to him especially if he needs your opinion on something. For instance, if he wants to open a business and you don't think this is a good idea, you should politely tell him so. Lying and approving just to make him happy will not work out for you. He will feel betrayed especially if he discovers your deceit. They don't feel caged. A man will actually commit if at all the woman allows him to make this decision without pushing him. He may have thought about marrying you but as soon as you start pushing him, then this will work against you. You can hint or start asking him to make a commitment. You should also try not making any ultimatums since this is a great way to push him away. Take the time to get to know him without pressuring him to make a commitment. Chapter 7. Things that may push away your perfect man. Synopsis in this chapter, we look at some of the things that may push away your perfect man. Finding him is one thing, keeping him is quite another thing. How can you keep him interested in you? What can you do to avoid pushing him away? What are the things that nice guys dislike in women? Some women never have a problem with meeting great guys. The main issue is getting the guy interested and holding this interest. Some very trivial things may rob you off a chance to spend the rest of your life with the perfect man. Why will he leave? Trying to rush things. When you meet the perfect man, you may immediately start thinking about what you can do to ensure that you have him forever. It's common to picture yourself with this man, living in a nice house and even have kids. You may already see yourself in that white dress on your wedding day. It's okay to dream and want all these things. However, keep them to yourself. If you start telling a guy about how much you want to get married soon, you will scare them away very easily. If you have just been dating a few months, starting up random topics about marriage is a turn-off. Don't also try to be smart by dropping cute hints without really saying it. Don't pretend that you have accidentally switched to a program about new moms and kids. You should also stop telling him about all your friends who have gotten married or are having kids. Trying to get a guy to meet your parents too soon is also pushing him. Don't even try to get him on the phone to say hi to your mum. These are scary tendencies that most men hate. It makes them panic because they think that they have lost all the power over their futures. They may also start feeling that they are working on some deadline. This makes them focus on the things that they wanted to do before settling down. Nagging men really hate being nagged. Some women start nagging their men and complain to them too much. No man wants to be constantly told what he needs to be doing. Men also hate being followed around by women seeking attention. You need to have your own life and stop bugging him. Scorning a man or comparing to other men to make him feel inadequate will push him away. You need to learn how to make him feel appreciated. Constantly nagging a man can easily push him away from you. Silent treatment. Most women like to adopt this strategy to express their anger or hurt. Even if you have just a man or have dated him for a while avoid this habit. If he said that he would call you then he fails to ask him about it and don't give him the silent treatment. Some women tend to carry this on in the hope that the man will realize where he went wrong and make amends. If a man is late for the date, sulking and keeping quiet will ruin your date and at the L same time put him off especially if he had a good reason for the lateness. Shrugging your shoulders, being cold and saying nothing when he asks you what's wrong is simply annoying. If you are angry or hurt, express yourself with words. Don't expect him to read your mind.
Hi, my name is Madibu Mutabi and I intend to bring to you these kinds of videos every single day. Like, share and subscribe.